Hour. Right hunter dropped his minnow down. A pike ate it. He's eating it right now. Oh, I hope he's a big one, Grant. I know, I'll be sweet. I'm just redrilling all the old holes we had from yesterday. And he called me over. You got all wrapped up in that quick strike rig. There's at least one hook in the mouth. It's a good one for that fish. How's it going? Oh yeah. Nice little fish. Oh, right as he dropped the minute on, he came up and ate it. He was right there. Huh? I didn't even get my. I didn't even sit. If Hunter got a fish that early, it's probably going to be a really good day. Yesterday we got, I wish I would have filmed yesterday because we got four fish over 30 inches, two 32s, which I believe are the same fish, and if they are, I will, uh, I'll put that in the video because it's cool to show you catching release, catching two fish, or one of the same fish, two hours before. But I'm going to get the flags in the water. We have big decoy sucker minnows and... Last day of pike season here in Minnesota. Yeah, the 25th of September, uh, February. So we want to get the hours in now. I gotta stop talking. We, we moved around a few times. The fishing was slow. He, they went through stages of where it picked up more. But we just moved to this final spot. And Hunter had his... Uh, I hope it's not a trip. I know. It could be with those bigger minnows. Yeah, oh, that's a fish. Really? Yeah, look at that. Man, this is just crazy fishing. Fighting on dead ones, alive ones. Jeez, oh, we could did, probably... did he get that on the dead one? No, that was a really small one. What's happening, minnow? That just happened really fast. Hunter had a flag. I had a flag. I had another flag. Then I just put mine back down. Andrew just got one. And honestly, we have a ton of small little sucker minnows left. But those were on the big ones. Andrew, Andrew got his on the small sucker minnow. We were fishing in probably around six feet of water. Just weeds. And we 
we're setting the tip up down probably two feet. Using, uh, we like the thermal tip ups just because you can really set them perfect if you're using big or small minnows and they work really good for that. But yeah, I, I think it's, it's gonna be really hot. It always gets really good close to dark time right as the sun goes down. But he had a fish earlier today that he let him take out over 100 feet of line and he still got him. There we go. Oh, good fish, good fish. Unless he's in the weeds. Hard to say. Watch him come off right the hole like the last one did. See, that shows you, he let him take it too long and then he's gonna yell at him. Let him take it. What? Keeping what, Blue You have so many so much pike in the freezer. Where is it? Here, you feel it. Don't, don't pull over. Oh yeah, that's a fish. Set the hook. He's on there. He's on there. Here, what, Andrew, grab this tip up and as I'm pulling it up, walk back so I don't need to. Yeah, that's a fish on there. He's on there. He's on there. Set that hook. Oh, pull him in. That's a good one. Really? Yeah. Well, you got him now. 40 inches. Oh. oh, man, that's a giant. That's a big one. Look at how fat he is. What? No way. 32, but he's fat. He's not one one All right. nice look. Look at that fish. Good color. Really fat. Much just sat there with Hunter's uh, Hunter Suckerman, or hardly even pulled it. That'll happen sometimes, though. They'll either they'll barely pull it, and the sucker or the flag just won't even trip. Hunter, you got one too? Doubles, that is. This thing felt big too. 34 and a half. I would go 34. 34 and a half. Let's see that one. Put it right on the tape. We'll release it right down that. Look at this, guys. Back right away, wow. Man, on that little two inch minnow too. Yeah. So with these plastic thermals, you can hear when they go off. Yeah, there's a fish on there right now. Look at that spinning. You can hear, Hunter heard it. Oh yeah, that's a fish. I'm gonna really let him take it. Cause there's, I mean, Last day of pike season on tip ups, I don't want to lose my chance. Feeling Grant? I'm just waiting until he pulls up the line. There he goes. Yeah. He woke up. Right before dark, these fish just go crazy. Grant, when you set the hook, really reef on that because that Dacron stretches. There you go. Man, he's way so, back there. Oh, he's still there. I'm like, here, how did you go look at this? I'm covered in this background. No! Oh, he's still there. Oh! Oh, he's there now. Pull it. He's all over me. Oh, my gosh. Look at this. 
Grant is just covered in Dacron lines. Oh, big one, big one. I think it's a big one. He's so careful when he gets by that hole. He's gonna be like dark. Is this on my shoulder? Where is this? Alright, I don't think it's as bad as I thought the Dacron. Oh! It's a fatty! Oh my gosh. Oh my goodness. Oh, oh watch that hook. Spread them out wide, Grant. Oh, man. You got the gold on them? Yeah, look, look at those colors. Yeah. One more look at him. I'm not even going to measure or take a picture. He's good to go. Big old fatty. Look at that gun on there. Now I have a background mess to clean up. Uh, so with these big mills, they're like 8 to 10 inches, and they have a lot of power. They'll trip your flag pretty easy. So what we've been doing is, usually you would just set it like this, metal on plastic, um, and that can trip pretty easy. But what we've been doing is going like this. You, you slide the the flag all the way to the T-bar and then the T-bar has to basically go all the way over that plastic piece to trip off. It just, it, it, it's better for the bigger minnows, like we've had up to probably close to 10 inch minnows and it doesn't trip it. Yeah, and but but a pike can easily pull Yeah, it if, if it's enough pressure and we're sending it probably two and a half feet down and six feet of water. Just with sparse weeds. And we've been fishing this lake for years and this is this has honestly been the best pike fishing we've ever had out of here. We've never caught this many over 30 inch fish. We've probably had around six or seven that are over 30 inches. Biggest one we've caught out of here, 236 and a half this year and then 136 last year. But they're just slowly gonna get bigger because the slot is just perfect. So it doesn't allow you to keep too many of the big ones or too many of the little ones. Well, we are gonna pack up. It's the end of the 2017, 2016, 2017 game fish season it was a blast tip of fishing is my all-time favorite just because the adrenaline when you're running towards the flag and you see the flag go up that's so much fun and then plus you honestly you never know what you're gonna get it could be a small fish it's hard to tell with how fast they pull uh, but if you enjoyed today's video don't forget to get a thumbs up if you want to see us go out ice fishing one more time don't forget to click the subscribe button give this video a thumbs up um, and we'll see you guys next time. Thanks for